The governor elections are coming on November 4th, and SGA is urging students to get out and vote. So student government has year after year sponsored and kind of run the Get Out the Vote campaign on the UWSP campus. Um, this year we had a lot of community members come in and volunteer with us to get, registered, to, to get students registered to vote um, along with educating them. The turnout for the Get the Vote Out campaign was successful, but how did UWSP compare to other UW schools? Um, UWSP was the, had the highest percentage of students registered to vote. Uh, we had 1,124 total students register, which was about 12% of our campus, um, compared to Madison, which had about 5% of their campus uh, register to vote. Um, I'm really looking forward to this election. I'm excited to run. Uh, this is my first election that I'm actually being able to vote in. And UWSP actually has the highest percentage of registered voters, voters of the entire UW system. On election day, students will be picked up in voter vans to take them to their polling place. Most polling places are located in the Dreyfus University Center on campus, but that is not the case for all students. Um, well, SGA will have voter vans running around. Uh, we've got four pickup spots on campus, so we'll take students to and from the polls. Um, depending on where you live on campus, even if you're in one of the residence halls, you will not always vote in the DUC. Um, most of the residence halls do, but there are like Watson and Thompson vote at a completely different place. Any students who would still like to vote but did not pre-register can do so at the polling place. They will need to bring an ID and a proof of residency form that can be found on their MyPoint page. Essentially get your voice heard. Um, a lot of times students especially are really apathetic to the idea of voting um, and it's, it's your civil duty and your civil right to uh, register to vote, register and then participate in voting. It doesn't matter who you vote for, the important part is getting out and voting. It will be interesting to see how this election pans out and how many students will vote. This has been Emily Margeson for SPTV News.